Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Kendris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to pose your 3D models in Clip Studio Paint. So, you can see here I downloaded this Wonder Woman uh, drawing, so I made it a little, bit, a little bit transparent, and then I'm going over with the 3D model, moving the arms and legs to, to match the pose of the drawing. So the first thing I like to do is move the the body, the whole body, into a similar angle of the drawing or picture. And after that, you start moving your arms and legs and try to match it as much as possible. And it doesn't have to be exactly, but you want to get it as close as possible and pay attention, like, to the arm if the arm is like rotated and you know the, the way it's bent and that's gonna get you like the the more the better the best results it's good to start with basic poses like this because you get used to the controls which it, they actually updated it was it used to be like a lot trickier to use but now they made it better and uh, the latest update And the main reason you want to do this uh, poses, like pose it, copying like a picture and things like that, is that you'll be able to later move it around and have the same pose like in any angle you want. Uh, you can experiment and you know, have the same, let's say you have a, a scene in a comic book, you can have the same uh, like scene but for multiple angles and it's gonna be always the same you don't have to worry about uh, posing another character uh, you can just show the same thing from different angles and that can be very useful so this pose pretty much done uh, it was kinda easy and you know it looks pretty much uh, the same as the drawing and after you're done what you can do is save the pose and the uh, way you do it is you go here you see this uh, little icon here you click that and then you can save the pose and use it in on any other character or model you know you can give it a name and then choose where you're gonna save it you know, pose, you know, action pose. How you can make a folder too and have like different kinds of poses. And you can see here you can add different body types. So yeah, well, it's pretty cool. After you have the poses, you can change it a little bit, have uh, a couple of variations, put on any character and body type and things like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the, the tip I want to show in this video. Uh, you can use a uh, picture and try to match the 3D model and that's gonna make it a lot easier to make poses and have cool poses uh, from they have seen somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more 3D model tutorials uh, if you wanna, if you guys wanna see some of those, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to follow me on social media like Twitter and Tumblr. Uh, post uh, a lot of different things over there. And if you like the video, make sure to like and share. Share with your friends and your followers. Anything like that that we very helpful. So yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna leave you with this little sketch I uh, did based on the 3D model. See you next time guys. Take care. Bye.